Yeah, so, uh, this may be a little bit different to your last, uh, episode that I uploaded for you guys. It's, uh, a lot different. Um, yeah, we kind of aren't in the ocean anymore. Hmm. Wonder why that could be, guys. Oh, really? It's like just morning. Oh, I thought it was freaking night. I thought we were like having sundown. Anyway, guys, yeah, as I just said, um, it isn't in the ocean anymore, actually, because we're going back. Um, we're not in the ocean because I had to do something because it's a server now. I had to do something on the server to be able to, um, with like the team that does stuff on here, like the guards. <laughs> um, I had to speak to them, or well, not speak to them. Well, we were speaking in, um, we were speaking over Skype, but uh, we were also doing things in the world. You know, they set the world into. Um, I think it was like a creative mode, but I wasn't allowed to place blocks. It was like kind of creative mode, but only they were allowed to do stuff because they're always in creative mode when they're on here. But I. Uh, I have a uh, something in here. We got mines. I've only started on one of them though. But um, yeah, um, when I'm recording, they're not gonna be on the server. I've already told them that they can't be on the server. So yeah. But um, basically, the problem is now that we've got some of these mods installed in that, and it has to be run with a different version of Minecraft. It's Forge, I think. Forge, yeah. Um, for some reason we're unable to get uh, world edit to work with it so they are unable to give us awesome buildings now so they can still give us items and stuff or things that we might request and tasks and challenges and stuff but we can't ask for builds or bases or anything like that anymore um, basically there'll be no new stuff to the world like that um, because they use world edit for like copy and paste things because we build it on a different server on a creative mode server and I'll actually build stuff with them like that god temple through there I actually built the entire thing by myself but it was on like a flat land creative world server and um we decided well they decided that they were going to put it in and I think I told you the story before they were going to put it into this world as like a surprise for me because they told me to give them the world download and then I gave them the latest world download, they turned it into a server. So that's freaking awesome! So, uh, yeah. So, basically, what we're going to do now is go back over to the uh, water temple. If I remember where it is, I think it's over this way anyway. But um, we're going to go back over there. We're going to look again for the uh, chest, because we didn't find the chest, because obviously we got these clues that we got to follow. Um, for some weird prize, I think I don't know. Some in the first book said something about that. Some kind of goods of extreme enchantment or something like that. I don't know. Tools of extreme enchantment. I don't know. <clears throat> I think we kind of gathered that it would be tools, though, due to the fact that there were going to be enchantments involved. And whoa, that's legitimately. Spooky. <whistles> Don't want to go down here. Anyway, we've got to find it again. So, um, yeah, like I was saying, we were talking about um, stuff, and obviously they can't use World Edit no more because obviously they've they can use world edit on their server but when they bring it onto here because we've got mods installed stuff will keep disappearing and they can't run world edit on this when they come to paste things in so because they copy it from the server and paste it into the world where it fits best basically that's what happens so they are currently unable to like do that so we might try and find a way around it we are trying anyway and uh, once we do, if we do, we will uh, continue with the epic adventures. But until then, we're just using little mods like this, um, not enough items, and a few other things like furniture mods and stuffed animals mods. Just fun stuff like that there is. Um, just fun stuff like that. And then, 
series two, I have got a surprise, as I think I might have mentioned before and said to a couple of you guys. Um, once we've killed the Ender Dragon with the legit vanilla, mine vanilla Minecraft, basically, I know we've got little mods like this, but it's just going to be like tiny mods like we've got now. I'm not going to go into full extreme friggin' feed the beast kind of mods or stuff like that. But in series or season two, which I will definitely do because I love the series, which is on the hundredth episode, we're hoping to kill the Ender Dragon. I want to do a hundred episodes per season or series or whatever. So that's what's going to be going on. In Season 2 I'm thinking about doing a mod, or a mod pack. So it's either I carry on doing now and add my own separate mods, or I get stuff from mod packs, or I actually go into a mod pack to like Tech It or Feed the Beast like I used to do on Modcraft. Like Tech It, I think I started with a normal Tech It um, mod pack, and then moved on to a Feed the Beast version of it. Like basically you could download Feed the Beast for it. So that's what I did, and then another thing that we can do is different, like big mods. Like there's a Lord of the Rings mod where you can actually have the Lord of the Rings world and survive in it. And what we could do is try and get our buildings and stuff placed in there. So I've had a few ideas, by the way, of where things could be in, or the chest can be. And it's over that side. Over there or somewhere, I don't know. See, it looks pretty dark in here, so it might be quite hard to find. That looks like a dead end. Nothing there. Get to there. We need to stay by where the air points are. Where's the next air point? I don't think there is one. Um, on top of the shark is also another place I've just thought of as well. So, let's try and make it over to here because I want to look over here. I'm pretty confident that it must be on top of there or something. So, let's have a look. I think we've read that before. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's have a look. If there is a chest, you can't open it. No. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. Oh, where get here? Alright, I see it. It's on top of the shark. I just literally saw the corner of a chest. It better be a chest or not just some kind of glitched out glowstone block. It looked like a chest. Just hoping it is now. Come on. Yes, it is. Come on, quickly, 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 quickly. We got it. Get back into the air pocket. Alright, let's read it. Aha, three. Travel to the far east and find clue four at an ore feast. Ore feast? Where? Sounds like something to do with the uh, ore gods. Or god of ores, or whatever. Ores gods. I can't remember which ones they were. That sounds like that. So far east. So we need the compass again. I really want to finish this um, little quest that we've got. Something about stuff of mass enchantment. Sounds crazy. Swim. I need to breathe. I actually need to put my. um. Skin on. I have. I've seriously not even got around to putting my um, actual skin on. I've still got. Oh, wrong one. Still got this skin on with the um, winter thingy. I'm sure I was just going to keep on till the end of February and then in March go back to it because it's like my winter thing. It's like my little winter version. It is literally because my actual character is called Enderman, not Enderman, because it's energized mixed together. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. So uh, yeah, his actual nickname that I've named my little character guy is Enemon. And um it's also mixing the I think the storyline of that castle that we went to a while ago. A couple of episodes ago. I'm not sure if I actually went into that castle in an episode that I've uploaded. I think I did because I remember uploading it and we went up to the top where all the um thrones were. And um he's in the storyline so basically this is the winter version of Enderman, so I need to put the normal Enderman on, which is him in a suit with his gaming headset on and everything. So I'd like to uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you can tune in to see me try and fend off the beasts of the night, because we got to get home, get the compass. So thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. Uh, links down in the description below to my store. And thanks for watching. And peace out. Yeah.
it's going crazy. Close up.